Hey YouTube, so I was surfing the interwebs. Me, surf videos on YouTube? Surprising, I know. And I saw a YouTuber do a little account of all of the movies that she wants to see um, before the end of the year. And well, as a movie addict myself, I've even got Elvin here to help out. <laughs> so, starting with September 18th with this chance of meatballs. I decided to see this because we've been wearing uh, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs t-shirts at work for the last six months, so if you're gonna wear it every day, you might as well go see the movie. Love Happens. The stars are Jennifer Aniston and Aaron Eckhart, and I'm frankly just really excited to see Aaron Eckhart in a movie again. Jennifer's Body. At first I was excited to see this movie because it looks fr so bad it'll be hilarious. But then I realized it was written by Diablo Cody and that in itself is actually kind of worth it. The Informant. Limited release only. It just has that quirky ridiculousness that I enjoy so it seems like it'll be a good time. Release date, September 25th. The Surrogates. Pretty much the biggest reason I want to see this movie is Bruce Willis. I generally like his movies. Fame. There's not a whole bunch of stars as far as the students go, but Megan Mullally is hilarious and I've of a musical slash dancing slash theater geek, so. Brief interviews with hideous men. The director is John Krasinski, and unfortunately, we're probably not gonna get this in small town America, seeing as its release is in New York City and it's an IFC film. So I'll just have to look forward to it later. Astro Boy. It stars so many voice talents, such as Freddie Heimark, Nicolas Cage, Kristen Bell, who is pretty much one of my favorites. I'll probably see this movie solely on the fact that it's by Summit Entertainment and there's so many people in it. Release date, October 2nd. Zombieland. Honestly, I'm seeing this movie solely on the fact that it has amazing advertisements. Like, I haven't actually seen a real trailer for it, just a whole bunch of random clips. Whip it. At first I wasn't going to see this movie, but as I've seen some of the trailers for it and read more about it, I, I'm interested in the girl power. The Invention of Lying, starring Ricky Gervais. Pretty much all you need to know. St. Trinian's School for Bad Girls limit for limited release. We're probably not going to get this one in small town America either, but it's from the UK, so pretty much I'm game. Couples Retreat. I'll see this to support Kristen Bell. I, it'll, I'm sure it'll be funny. I'm... Pretty much, I heart Kristen Bell, so I'll see any of her movies. An Education for Limited Release. I've kept my eye out for this one for quite some time, and it, although this is its limited release date, I really hope we get it sometime in, this, in our small town. Release date, October 16th. Where the Wild Things Are. I cannot wait for this movie. This movie looks so interesting in the sense that, I mean, this was a 20 page book, a children's book at that, so there's probably eight words per page. And I've seen some of the special effects stuff and behind the scenes documentary about it, and it just looks like something that isn't going to waste my time. Law Abiding Citizen. It stars Gerard Butler. Need I say more? Also, I'm excited to see Jimmy Fox play someone who's got his hands dirty. New York, I Love You for limited release. Mini director starring mini stars. It's an anthology of love stories set in New York City. And if you haven't seen Paris Jetem, then I suggest you see that first. Because I will definitely be watching New York, I Love You. 
Release date, October 23rd. Cirque du Freak, The Vampire's Assistant. I'm pretty much down for seeing anything that says vampire in the title. I've been addicted to vampires since Joss Whedon's Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and it's not stopping anytime soon. Release date, October 30th. reason? How about the fact that it's Boondock Saints 2? Release date November 13th. Fantastic Mr. Fox for limited release. I'll probably see this because it is another film based on a children's book and I generally like them. Release date November 20th. The Twilight Saga New Moon. Robert Pattinson and Taylor Lautler and Ashley Green. Again, do I really have to tell you why I want to go see this movie? Yeah, didn't think so. Release date, December 11th. The Princess and the Frog. This is the first truly animated Disney motion picture since, well, back in the day. <laughs> so that alone gives me reason to want to go see it. The Lovely Bones. I only made it through a few chapters of this book. All the way through. But it's Release date, December 18th. Did you hear about the Morgans? This seems like another one of Hugh Grant's romantic comedies, yet I will totally go see it. Avatar. This movie looks crazy, and apparently it's going to be in 3D, so why not? Release date, December 25th. Sherlock Holmes. I've seen the trailers for this, and each time I get giddy, and I giggle, and it's just, why not? <laughs> Alvin and the Chipmunks, the squeakquel. I'll let you guess to see whether or not I'll see this movie or not. Depending on your own personal preference of what movies you see, you might be wondering why I'm planning on seeing some subpar movies. Well, I work at a movie theater, therefore I see movies for free. There's a few movies that are independent movies and, well, also New Moon I'll be seeing at midnight that I don't mind spending my money on, but otherwise, I get to see movies for free. So, but what movies are you planning on spending your hard-earned money on? Anything special? Let me know in the comments below or in a video response. Thanks for watching and please subscribe!